I barely use this thing but uh, there it is I like it because it's small it's kind of cute and the video is not moving I don't know what the picture is so I'm just gonna start talking why do I loathe inland German accents so much well maybe because they defy the entire rule of grammar and how to spell and pronounce anything this is how this sounds to me not that I speak any of it but I'm not talking about having a slight accent while you learn another language. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying inland, like accents which are actually spoken. I'm just going to repeat my phrase. That's how it sounds to me. Literally, I was just speaking English with that accent of German. That's how it sounds to me. I barely understand a word. It's disgusting. And maybe it's not even the rules, because the rules may be banned. It just sounds horrible. Blech. Yeah, I loathe every single one of them. I didn't lose the Berlin one, but I don't know where it is, because the Berlin people on the reels, they don't speak nice. That's not, that's not what I mean. They're all knuckles. All the reels have knuckle accents, and I'm not into knuckle. Here you go. What's happening? I don't know. Who am I? Nobody. I'm being disrespected. <laughs> That's what's happening everywhere. And I think they're so cool. I'm just like, I don't want to talk about it again and again. I live it again and again, but I don't want to talk about it. No, the fact that I don't say anything doesn't mean it's not happening. Ego central, killing everyone who is actually in the vibration. Help me. Please help me. So in the German grammar, the noun or the substantive or the helped word, all these words for this one primary word, which actually encompasses everything what any sentence is about. Well, in German grammar, it is usual to have it spelled in capital letters, just like a city or a brand or a, what is the noun? Well, the house, the car, car, house, all that. Which, of course, there comes der, die, or das in front. And in Spanish, only el and la. And in English, there's only the. There's no distinction between he and she and it. And in Asian, there's nothing. <laughs> no he, she, it. No el, la. No the either. Just nothing. <laughs> But I learned from Karin, the German teacher from Siemens, that the German language grammar had uh, resolved itself into a new law, but you did not have to write any more capital letters. Yeah, but who knows about that? And who applies that? And who reads that? And where, in which news can you find it? So I actually started doing that for a while. Especially, it's very convenient in... Um, on the internet, right? No, I didn't do it then in Siemens. I did it later. I think it was Karin, another one of those boring people, German teacher, just like Marianne, the German teacher I had in the foundation. Oh my God, are they boring people? <sighs> yeah, man, I don't know why you have to comment on that. No, they're both responsible German people, <laughs> German people. And 
what carving looked like a bird in her face like um what's the painter again i talked about um the crazy woman's husband <laughs> who didn't paint for his photo shoot poor guy he looked like a bird too like an owl maybe but that's not what i mean when i say owl by the way i think it's kind of ugly in the face but who gives a shit how they look he was a good painter he was i think he was a nice person despite his trauma and she was just responsible she was like a guy and Mariana was like a little fatty housewife and also nice but also boring again so education alone doesn't help why am i talking about those see the past of my life and i look at them oh yeah and all of them looked the same hence i could charge more why do we talk about that again if they would charge so much i would charge twice as much for my lesson yeah but i wouldn't charge for that alone i would charge i go on domicile I talk about subjects they would not have any clue about. They couldn't talk about Freud or From or Marx or the Blue Riders, the movement of art, or you know the Expressionist or Goethe and Schiller. But each of them had their little own niche. They couldn't. They had no idea. They would not understand it. They don't even manage the words. The words used and the construction of phrasings. They don't handle that. They don't know what that is. And, well, that's something extra plus, actually acknowledging who is the student and what does he needs, particularly and personally. See, there is no more method or no more system in that. It's just sheer apl applying humanism to a human who has interest in a certain subject of life, and I'm right there for him or her. Either way. The noise, I, I don't know if you hear it, it's, it's Minzy playing, probably with the chopsticks she's got a toy and that's gonna last for like not even a day <laughs> and then she wants something different and i'm gonna pick it up i knew that so i hence i i charged for that and i made it and then there's something else as a teacher like that you have like man you're in, uh today i don't feel like going to my classes and if you pay by the hour or by the lesson then suddenly instead of four times you have the student you only have them three or two and then you don't eat. So I told my students, I said, if you don't want the lesson, you still have to pay for it if you want that spot. But you can also choose because often I did that. No, I don't want to know. I just give you more money. Was that the American who said that? Was that Carlos who said that? Was that all of them? I don't know. I just give you more money. So I take the lesson when I want. And when I don't, when I don't take it. I pay you like in the school by month. I got my spot if whether I use it or I don't. I think that's fair. Taking into account like each of the sides. France, she broke my heart. It broke my heart. Okay, let's talk about France. How about new video? No. I went to France because now I had a firm monthly income of like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it was minimum. It was like nothing. I paid the rent, I had some food, and that was all. And I, in Lille, I immediately began my lessons. I began to teach a model, a French model. She said she was one, she was very, very pretty. German. She was pregnant, and she said that she was, God, was she unhappy. Sitting in a large, large Lille apartment, playing with cats. Nice cats, all like elegant cats. And she was pregnant. I don't think she was happy about it. And her, the, the father was probably a German guy. And she said she would go live in... Yeah, I wonder, Metz. Is that not where Karl Marx was born? Is, not, is that a French city or is it a German city? See, that's how close this is. <laughs> right at the border. Of course, it's Germany. And she was very unhappy. Although, it was just around the corner. Same difference. Lille, Metz. But it's not. They don't only speak different languages. Like a tongue, like French or German. They speak a completely different way of communicating within each other or with each other, if at all, people. Break my heart. Yeah, because she said, I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you. She paid me a few lessons in advance. She said, if, if, if I don't do that, then I'm just going to go ahead. And I'm not going to take the lesson. So please accept the money. Like she made a commitment to herself. And then she canceled the next lesson. And then I went off, Lil. So I had all the money. But I took the money, yeah, I broke my heart, and it was cold in Lille. I came from Mexico. 
I had been living how long in Mexico? But long enough to not support anymore the cold. <gasps> cold it was. So I bought myself a jacket. Yeah, I bought myself a dumb leather jacket. It was horrible. No, it was warm. But I hated my clothing. I have no idea how much I hated my clothing in Europe. It kept me warm because the wind wouldn't go through. And then she, I left and then I called her from Toulouse. I actually did. Because I had no money, but I first and foremost, I had to kind of make clear that I just didn't like, fuir, fuir, French for I, uh, weird, how do you say, um, I wasn't hiding or running off. I told her, I am now in Toulouse, I'm not going to come back. I'm going to go and, and give you your money back. And she said, no, 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 it's okay, just leave it the way. <gasps> I cried. Thanks to her money, I could buy myself just a cheap jacket, like in Karstadt. I don't know what store that was, on Boulevard, on the, in the outlet. I have no idea. It was an ugly little shit store, and there I got my jacket. Ugh. Ugh, I'm not whiny.